Joining us on the line is Dr. Terry Bidet. He is party chairman of the Forum for Democracy in the Netherlands. And I wanted to have him on to discuss the future of immigration in the Netherlands, whether socialism is indeed the wave of the future, the EU, and all the rest of what's going on in Europe. Because there are a lot of misconceptions in America about exactly what the Netherlands are. Obviously, you hear a lot of Democrats talking about the Netherlands as a, as a fantastic socialist wonderland. Dr. Bidet, thanks so much for joining The Ben Shapiro Show. I'm very happy to be here, Ben. Thank you. So, first of all, why don't you tell me a little bit about what the Forum for Democracy is and how it got started? Yeah, so I am um, the founder of a new political party that was set up only three years ago in the Netherlands, and uh, we participated in several elections, and we turned out to be the largest party at the most recent national elections for the Senate in uh, March of this year. And um, so the, our, our platform is about uh, controlling immigration, direct democracy, small, limited government, uh, improving education, and conservative values in general. And um, I think there's a lot going on in Europe uh, with, with regards to these points of view. I really think the population is waking up, and our party is part of this, this new wave of, uh, of renewed self-confidence in our own national cultures, because that's the essence of what's going on. Yeah, so let's talk for a second about what exactly is going on in terms of, let's start with economics and then we'll move to immigration in Europe. So in the United States, there's been this vast upswing in the interest in democratic socialism in the United States. You have people ranging from Bernie Sanders to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez citing the Netherlands and citing uh, Northern Europe as some sort of, sort of paradise of economics. The idea is that you can have extraordinarily high tax rates and this massive social safety net, and this will not quash growth. And that really what this is, is not capitalism with the social safety net. It's actually socialism. Can you talk a little bit about the economic system in the Netherlands, what works and what doesn't? Yeah, well, um, in the Netherlands, the, um, the welfare state is, is increasing uh, all the time. And as a consequence of this, of course, the uh, uh, new businesses that are Started are in difficult waters all the time. Uh, there's there's not enough. There's simply not enough economic space for uh, economic creativity, economic flexibility, and uh, this is why our party, but also in general, we see that uh, people are increasingly arguing for a smaller government. Uh, it's uh, it's government bureaucracy we see in healthcare, we see in education. Uh, and um, we, we, we need to small down to get the economies to become flexible again. Uh, also, of course, the European Union is increasingly pre presenting us with regulations that help uh, multinational corporations but are very, very um, bad for small and medium-sized businesses. And the purchasing power of the middle classes is, has been going down for, for decades. Uh, in the Netherlands. And I think that that is, a, to a very significant extent, what explains the success of our party. People are feeling in their pockets that the promises of, of government officials are not coming true. When it comes to the actual system in the Netherlands, would you describe it as socialist? Because obviously you've seen a bunch of people in the United States describe it thus, or is it, as I've described, a capitalist system that just has an enormous amount of spending and social safety net on top of it? Yeah, it's, it's rather the second. Uh, and I think in, in the 90s, uh, when, when Bill Clinton was president in the United States, we, we saw in Europe, uh, in several countries, a, a new form of a sort of combination of classical socialist arguments and some kind of also, rather weirdly, free market um, uh, ideas and arguments. And the, the, the two have sort of merged into a, a managerial society, as the American blogger Dennis Burnham would have called it. Uh, there is some liberty, there's some freedom in the marketplace, but if you really look into it, everything is regulated up to the, to the very small, tiny details of your life. And I think this also has a um, anthropological uh, component because it makes people dependent. It makes people lose their self-confidence. And, and, and that is ultimately, of course, why socialist or socialistic societies uh, become weaker from the inside out. We're speaking to Dr. Terry Bidet. He's party chairman of the Forum for Democracy in the Netherlands. So, Dr. Bidet, let's talk about immigration right now. So a lot of the folks on the left in the United States, in Europe, keep talking about an open immigration system. I've always found it fascinating that the same folks who talk about the wonders of a democratic socialist economic system 
neglect the fact that there is an enormous amount of anti-free immigration sentiment, particularly in a lot of the bigger government states, that, that a lot of these states that have this heavy social safety net are particularly concerned about the rise in unvetted immigration into their countries because then you have too many people taking advantage of the social safety net. Yes, well, that's certainly true. I think open borders and some form of welfare statism are fundamentally incompatible. It's impossible to have social security for everyone and at the same time open borders. Uh, and this is this is very obvious, of course, in Germany, in the Netherlands, and other countries in Europe that have traditionally had a, uh, a, a rather significant social security network. 